Hi everyone, um, welcome to another video. Um, this one is from the Escape to Wonderland book and I have actually recorded this rose for you and unfortunately some of the footage got lost. Basically the remote control broke, um, the battery went in my remote control. I paused the video to go and sharpen a pencil, came back, thought I'd recorded, hadn't, so missed some of the video. So I'm re-recording. I mean, I've got to colour all of this page anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I thought I would choose, um, which row should we do? Um, this one. It's quite near this one. I've got to zoom in using my camera, not the remote control, because I don't have it working. I can't find a battery. I know my husband gave me some, and I think I got a feeling I know where they are but not really anyways doesn't matter <laughs> so the, we're using castle arts gold I thought it'd be fun and I'm going with a magenta to start with which is going to be my darkest color so I'm going to mark out all the dark areas to start with so oops on this particular page I don't know if it's the case through the book I've only done one other picture so far um, there are markings on the flowers where they would be shadowed so it, in most places anyway so it means I know exactly where to start marking out with my darkest colour to uh, to get that sort of shadowy look or that shade or um, whatever this sort of dark area basically I'm also going to put a darker bit on the edges just because I feel there would be a little bit of sort of where it overlaps there'd be some shadow like there is actually here I just oh yes it is I just thought my light might not be on but it is it's uh, quite bright in here at the minute but it's uh, the weather is very iffy today it was sunny earlier it's cloudy looks like it's going to rain now so I'm never quite sure that's uh, what happens when you live in the UK. Um, you never know what the weather's going to do. Whatever, we, and where we live, um, we have our own sort of microclimate, as they call it. Um, I'm going in. I'm just trying to work out that line is for that one. So yeah, um, because of our position in a valley between lots and lots of hills, um, sometimes the weather the rain, um, the clouds sort of get stuck <laughs> behind the head, it sounds a bit weird, and uh, and it, it doesn't reach us, and we don't get a lot of snow either here because, um, for the same reason, so a lot of the places on the hill get it and we don't, um, which is disappointing for people who like snow, but maybe not for those that don't, <laughs> so uh, I have mixed feelings. I like watching snow, I find it really relaxing and um, and but I don't like it when my loved ones are travelling in the snow or myself to be honest, I don't mind on foot it's nice if we get a snow day, you can be at home have a little walk out in the cold snow like that but uh, not uh, driving, ugh, really just like that so you can see I'm just marking out the sort of darker areas I think I'm almost done I'm trying to work out what that and that are hmm that is the edge of that so that leaf that's the inside and this is the outside so we'll put a little bit at the bottom but this I'm not sure I'm just going to put a bit there I don't know now our next reddest colour is this one it is the cherry pink it is quite pinky but we don't have a really strong red so it just works I thought when I tried it out before so we'll see I'm actually doing this and coloring this in a different order I just realized when I made the first video on this rose here I used my lightest color first so uh, this may look a little bit different sometimes the order that you put colours down can be quite important but we'll see won't we I'm trying to go a little bit gently here because we've got a very sharp point on this pencil 
Um, then I can be a bit heavy handed and sharp points don't like that. So anyway, we'll see what happens with the colour. But of course, these roses are being painted because this is the scene from Alice in Wonderland where the um, cards... Uh, I think they're the Queen's Guards, actually, I'm not sure. But the playing cards are painting the roses. And uh, because the Queen had ordered red and they bought blue, the roses came out white. So they were really scared, so they were painting them red. So, of course, they might not all be fully painted. Or they might be different shades of red. And we've got a lot of paint splats in this picture from the red paint, which is quite fun. I could have done the roses white with just little splash, splashes of paint, but I'm not very good at white colouring, so I decided to do them red because it was easier. And I will have to learn how to do white. I do want to, but not today. So I thought I would just keep it easy. Now our last colour is the red ochre. Now this is the orangey red. So I'm going to put it over everything to uh, try and get it to look a bit more like our... Well, that was weird. Something flashed by the window. I was doing a bird. To get it to look a bit more like the one, the other one. And I think it's working. It's quite a strong colour. And I'm putting it on quite um, dark, thickly. What I'm trying to do is to layer it up a bit in the places where I want a darker colour. And obviously those layers underneath will help out too. Now it doesn't matter too much if a bit of white paper shows through because we have to remember that these roses were white originally. But um, this paper is cream, not white, so could... Uh, one. I mean, what you could do on this page, if you wanted a completely different idea, is leave the roses white, colour them white with a white pencil, do a background so the white stands out. Um, I say that as if it's simple. Yeah, just, you know, do a background. <laughs> and um, then get some red paint, like a paint pen or something, and splodge bits of red on different bits of roses. I think that will be a lot of fun but would be a lot of work as well. So uh, I do like red roses though, which is why I have opted to do it like this. Well, apart from the fact that I'm too lazy to learn how to colour white flowers. I saw a really lovely, uh, I saw, a, I did watch a demo of how to colour white flowers the other day, but, and there were all sorts of interesting tips and tricks, like do a background, do an outline. Um, it was a painting tutorial and for people who um, don't have, it wasn't colouring, so doing an outline, obviously um, we've already got an outline, but uh, if you're painting you don't, and do use a really pale colour to actually add some shade onto the white, which is the most important thing really, which applies to colouring as well. So it would be like using either a pale grey, blue, you know, a, what they used was they had a really dark blue, it was almost an indigo. She had mixed up lots of different colours, but had watered it down a lot so it was really pale. Difficult for us to do that with pencil. We can apply it very lightly and then maybe use a blender or a blending fluid to sort of move it around, but it's not so easy. It was still very interesting, it gave me a lot to think about. Okay. Now there are some areas here which are quite pale compared to the rest. I am going to just darken that one a little bit. But some of them would be catching the light and they would be paler. So you don't necessarily want them to look darker. It looks quite similar colour to that one now. So I'm happy with that. Now the paint splats I will show you. I did those in um, the darkest two colours, so in a magenta. Firstly, just sort of darker on the edge and just took that into the middle, a bit lighter, like 
like that. I'll just do a couple. The little ones you can't do much with. It's just put down some colour. And then the cherry pink on the top. Oh, oh sorry. That was my remote control. Getting under my elbow. I, as I say, I need to find the right sort of battery. It's one of those flat silver batteries. And uh, I know my husband gave me some. He found me some out when I went last time. I don't know where they are. So that's how I did the paint splats. You can see here as well, they're a bit darker. And I figured that because we're painting a rose, that's white, maybe the paint would be a bit darker. That was my theory. You don't have to do it darker. You can do it exactly the same colour. Put your red ochre on top if you want to. Right, um, now we're onto the, um, onto the greenery. So I have my hooker's green. Oops, there we go for the main part what I want to do is I've got this nice and sharp so that I can do an edge on the stem in this darker colour I think it helps to give some shape if we make it dark and then gently um, bring that colour in a little bit I'm going to make these stems just completely dark just because they're too thin to do anything else with. I think, um, yeah, let's do that one. Oops, I'm not staying in the lines very well. Now I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom like this, just to start the blend, sort of blends into the stem. But I'm also going to put a darker layer on this side where these lines are, just to follow like we did with the rose, really. Um, we've got a little bit here, it's actually hiding behind this other rose mainly, isn't it? But we'll do that one too, and we'll do this one. So darker colour on the side. Like that, and a little bit, just generally at the bottom. And then my last colour is, whoops, is the leaf green deep. And it's a it is a lighter colour, and uh, I'm just going to sort of slowly draw in the green towards the centre, using less layers as I get nearer to the middle. So hopefully it looks a little bit more rounded. And on the um, leaf, I'm just going to go over what we've done already, really, but make it try and make it a little lighter towards the tip particularly on this side where we did a little bit on the base keep, try and keep it smooth like that so same here and take it up to the edge Yes, I'm trying to remember where I'm at. So I'm going to do the rest of the page in the same way. I just want to show you these sort of strange ribbons. What I calculated from having a look at it is that these are paint, um, like ribbons of paint. So they will just come in this darker colour. I think actually doing the paint in a darker colour helps it to stand out from the flowers a little. And uh, so I'm just going to continue my page like this um, in this way. And uh, and I will um, share a finished picture with you at some point, maybe not on the end of this video. Um, I probably would have edited it before I finished the page. But um, I will share it in my completed pages. I would have completed it by the end of the month. So I'll share it there with you. I think that might be the best plan. So uh, that's me. I need to take a photo, but because my um, remote control is gone, I can't do it. So that's not very useful. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye and then sort out my photo after. But uh, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, I hope that was okay and fun for you and gave you just a few ideas about colouring roses, even if you don't have this book. Um, although this book gives you hints of where to colour the darker areas, you can do the same sort of thing in any book with any rose, even if it doesn't have the lines on. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of where to put your light and shade. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.